enzymes. In this module, you will learn about enzymes. We all know that the digestion of food begins in our mouth. When we put food in our mouth, our teeth start chewing it. And while the teeth are chewing the food, saliva is secreted from the salivary glands, which helps in the digestion of food. But have you wondered what in our saliva helps in the digestion of food? Well, saliva contains a special catalyst called salivary amylase that catalyzes the breakdown of starch into simpler forms, thus helping in the digestion of food. Just like salivary amylase, there are many other special catalysts in our body that help in various biochemical reactions. Such special catalysts that catalyze the biochemical reactions in living organisms are called biocatalysts or enzymes. Chemically, most of the enzymes are globular proteins. Now, enzymes are very specific to the biochemical reaction they work on. It is so because an enzyme performs its function only in the presence of a specific substrate. This means that if the substrate on which the enzyme has to work is not appropriate, it does not perform its function. Other than the specific substrate, an enzyme also needs specific reaction conditions to work. Due to the specificity in their substrates, enzymes are usually named on the basis of the names of the substrate on which they work. For example, the enzyme involved in the hydrolysis of maltose into two glucose units is named as maltase. Similarly, the enzyme involved in hydrolysis of ester into acetic acid and alcohol is named as esterase. In the same way, the enzyme that breaks down proteins during the process of digestion is named as protease. In certain cases, enzymes are also named on the basis of the type of reaction they work in. For example, in oxidation reduction reaction, the enzyme that catalyzes the oxidation of a substrate and reduction of the other substrate simultaneously is called oxidoreductase enzyme. Now you may have observed that in all the cases that we have discussed, the name of the enzymes end with ace. This ace is added as a suffix either to the name of the substrate or to the name of the reaction in which the enzymes work. Now let us learn how these enzymes catalyze a biochemical reaction. A biochemical reaction occurs very slowly in the absence of an enzyme. While in the presence of the enzyme, this reaction occurs quickly. This is because enzymes reduce the magnitude of activation energy of the reactions. For example, in case of acid hydrolysis of sucrose in the absence of any enzyme, the activation energy is 6.22 kJ per mole. However, in the presence of enzymes, the activation energy reduces to 2.15 kJ per mole. Therefore, in the presence of the enzyme, the reaction occurs quickly. Let's recap. Enzymes are the biocatalysts that increase the speed of biochemical reactions. Most of the enzymes are globular proteins. Enzymes act only in the presence of the specific substrates and under specific conditions. Enzymes are named based on either the substrate on which they work or the type of reaction they work on. Enzymes reduce the activation energy of a chemical reaction, thereby making it faster.